Four victims are still recovering after a gas pipeline explosion in Midland. While the cause of the explosion is still unknown, our Emily Harrison went to the UMC burn unit to see how they treat cases like this. Terry, one of the four remains in critical condition and the rest are seriously injured. They were airlifted to UMC hospital on Wednesday after the explosion. UMC has the only level one trauma burden center for miles, which means they have to be prepared for lots of patients coming in and out of their doors. I feel like a lot of people know that burns are very painful, but just as far as how sick they can make people, nobody has any idea, and really they, they can be the very sickest patients there are. While burns are extremely painful, they are also very serious. Burn victims have to be immediately transported to UMC, making it one of the busiest in the country. We're a very busy burn center, in fact, the seventh busiest in the nation, and uh, we cover the third largest region, so uh, we, we do stay quite busy and we're usually full. Making it difficult when those patients are far away from the hospital, should the victims be located in East New Mexico, Southern Kansas, or even West Oklahoma, it can take a very long time. That is a challenge, uh, you know, uh, in any type of trauma or burn situation, the sooner you can get care, the better. We actually offer outreach programs, um, a program called uh, Advanced Burn Life Support. That program saves lives, teaching EMT what to do while transferring patients to the burn unit. While the burns can be terrible, Venable says it's helping these patients who are in so much pain that makes it all worth it. The public knows about that burns can be very painful, and I get a lot of whenever someone says, oh, you work in the burn unit, that must be terrible, seeing people in pain. Well, that's one of my favorite things about the burn unit is the opportunity to relieve people from their pain. Venable also tells me that she hopes all four of those patients will be stable soon. Until then, they will remain at UMC Hospital to continue treatment. Terry, back to you. All right, Emily, thanks so much.